Hello everyone, Ginma the Samurai here, and welcome back to this part of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Alright, so last part we completed the Woodfall Temple, and uh, we heard a sound from in here, so let's check it out. What? Who are you? Uh, hello. Link, pleased to meet you. I am the Tiku Princess. Were you, by chance, asked by that monkey to come save me? Aha! Just as I suspected! You see, your body smells a little bit like monkey. So the monkey made it back fine after all. That's good. Mm. Side note, uh, if you guys want to have a laugh, you guys can check out, uh, Zana Uzumaki's Majora's Mask Abridged. Because, uh, the voice that he gave this Deku princess was something special. Um, I won't really do it now because it would completely ruin the moment, but I just want to put that out there. Anyway. I was worried that when I didn't come home, my father would think that monkey had kidnapped me. I was worried that my father would even go so far as to punish the poor monkey. <laughs> oh boy. Don't tell me. Are you serious? Is father actually doing that? Yet another hasty decision, father. Oh, man. Well, well, we don't have any time to lose. Quickly, Mr. Link, can you please find something to carry me in so that you can take me to the Deku Palace? Uh, sure. Um, let's grab the bottle here. <laughs> and if you guys think I'm joking, what? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You put the Dika Princess in a bottle. It's a tight fit, but she says she'll be fine if you hurry. So you see to let her out. Uh, Mr. Link, there's n no time to lose. Uh, hurry, take me to the palace. I don't know how it works either. Don't ask. I have no idea how that works. But it does. So she's in a bottle now. Don't question it. I don't, I mean, I question it every day. Oh, it's raining. Yeah, second day, of course, it's raining. Yeah, but, no, no. Yeah, it's just fucking... <laughs> I don't even know. It. But yeah, no, the Abridged series, though, it's really funny. It's one of my favorite, like, uh, Zana Uzumaki, very under, well-known, like... I told you not to enter any others other than the Royal Chamber. It's very rare occasion that you're allowed to enter, so do as I say. Well, this hall straight to the Royal Chamber. Did not enter any other areas whatsoever. Gotcha. But yeah, as I was saying, though, um, in terms of just... It was just funny. I like the writing. Oh, gosh. Oh, hot, hot. Stop it, please! They keep saying that I can't imagine. No matter how many times they say it, it's not going to bring the princess back. Oh. Uh, this is also dark, by the way. <laughs> Da, da, da. Oh, well, why are you waiting, Mr. Link? Oh, hurry, uh, open this bottle and release me right where my father's standing. Gotcha. Alright, let's do this. Oh, my princess, my darling princess. You are alright? I was so worried. Oh, stupid, foolish father. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> what are you doing? Let that monkey go this instant. Okay. Oh, Mr. Monkey, I am truly sorry. Father does such rash things when he's worried about me. I understand, Princess. Forget about that. Has the temple been returned to normal? Why, yes. Thanks to Mr. Link here. I'm very truly grateful. Really? So you're called Link, are you? Thank you for keeping your promise to me. <laughs> as a symbol of our gratitude, as a symbol of our gratitude, our butler has prepared a little something for you. Please accept it. You'll find it in the shrine that will be to your right when you leave the palace. Okay. Also, we're going to be able to freely uh, transform back and forth now. 
which is uh, nice. But anyway, Link, I'm sorry for all that trouble. Now it looks like we monkeys and the Deco Scrubs can start getting along again. You know, the swamp may be back to normal, but something still gives me a bad feeling. I wonder what it could be. Hmm, I wonder too. Yeah, you can turn to normal now, and no one will question it. Hello. Hasty decision making is my weakness. This time, more than ever, it has become clear to me. Oh, strange traveler, there's little I can do. Please rest a bit before going. Seems our brother has taken somewhat of a liking to you, Mr. Link. I believe you'll find him waiting in the shrine that will be to your right when you leave the palace. I should never forget what you have done for us. But please forgive me if I refuse to write in that tiny little bottle ever again. <laughs> Changing to many things, can't you? Very strange indeed. Yep. Well, either way, let's go. So, uh, yeah, just outside of the palace, uh, there's going to be a little bit of a thing towards the right, so we're actually going to check that out and uh, see what we can do about that. Now, I'm not sure uh, how much of this cycle I'm going to be, like, continuing on with, because there's some things in the next area that are, of course, time sensitive that, like, I can do on, like, the first day, second, and you know, like, in a specific order, and I would like to, uh, be able to, you know, do it in proper order and all that. You know what I'm saying. Well, either way, let's go. Okay. Hello, sir. Link, I am truly grateful for what you have done for the princess. As a sign of our gratitude, we Deco prepared something that we think may assist you. I will lead you to it. Please follow me. Okay, let's go. Oh, man. But, yeah. Um, again, this is a fun little mini game right here. If you guys have uh, done the uh, race in Ocarina of Time with Dompe, uh, this is pretty much that. Um, except it's a lot more challenging. There's a lot more obstacles in the way. And uh, it's also going to require you to use items and stuff. So it's definitely a lot more interesting. Um, also, keeping up with him can be kind of difficult because he moves very fast, and uh, there's times where he just makes really sharp turns t towards like corners that, like, if you don't know where you're supposed to go, can be kind of unobvious as to where you're supposed to go. Now, I just took a shortcut path, but it's also super risky because if you fall down any pit, you reset this entire race, so you don't want to do that. Um, so anyway, let's go here. Boop. Okay. There we go. Okay. Coming for you, Mr. Butler. Okay, so I think yeah, it's that one. Okay, so towards the end he's gonna make a turn towards one that's like around the corner. Okay, this one you want to be really careful. They also changed this room in 3D. You don't want to be in deco form in this room because you touch fire, you instantly, like, die and respawn. Like, so you do not want to touch fire. It's like, it's like falling in a pit, okay? Uh, now they changed that room in 3D to just be, uh, spiked walls, which, like, the pop-up out of the ground for whatever reason, which is less menacing and I don't actually like that change okay so yeah you want to go over here uh, but yeah I don't I, re I really don't like that change and uh, it's towards the right yeah and I don't know that's about all I really wanted to say I just don't like the change so yeah okay Boop. okay so let's go over here gotcha so again, as I think I have mentioned to you guys before, you guys will have noticed that this game is primarily side quests. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of, like, regular quest things. Like, again, the kind of more tools to lead you to doing side quests, which I really like. Either way, let's talk to you. Well done, Link. Now here's the item I promised. Please accept it. You got the Mask of Sense. This mask heightens your sense of smell. Where it was C to sharpen your olfactory perception. That's the smell of power. Actually, when I see you, I'm reminded of my son who left home long ago. Somehow, I feel as if I'm once again racing with my son. I'm afraid I may have tried too hard to outrun you, as old as I am. I am still a fast competitor, just like when I've raced my son. Please, forgive my rudeness. Okay. Well, let's go. Now I have the second day. 36 hours remain. Alright, so there's a few things that I can totally do 
Um, and I was kind of trying to think, um, on the second day, I know definitely what I should do. Um, but there's a few mini games we can do now that we have, like, the bow. So, uh, again, I'm gonna leave the final area. She's literally viewable from everywhere. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So, let's go over here, and, uh, yeah. Now, why am I going this way? And I can just teleport? I don't know. I'm gonna teleport. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, where we want to go next is actually right over by, uh, the Deku, like, okay, so you know where the, um, boat cruise was? So, we're gonna be going right by their southern swamp, that was it. So, yeah. Because in the more entry area into the swamp itself, uh, there is an archery minigame that can be found over by there, and we are actually going to go and do that, because we are able to now. So, yeah. Um, and there's gonna be a few little, like, side quest things now that I think about that I can do now, now that I've done the first dungeon. Uh, so, I definitely have enough to fill apart, now that I think about it. Okay, you, you're dead. So, Wolfos, really easy to deal with. Wait for them to turn their back to you, and then you just jump attack. Boop. There you go. So, let's go over here. That also applies to Ocarina of Time, not just to this game. So, yeah, if you're ever fighting one of those, they give you a ton of trouble. It's really not that big of an issue. Wait for them to turn around and then jump attack at them. Oh, yeah, so in uh, Majora 3D, uh, they added fishing holes to the game, and one of them can be found right here. Uh, the archery minigame, though, is right over here. So let's go and do this. Okay. Hello. <laughs> hey, mate. How? <laughs> oh, oh, we're back to this accent. Oh, no. Oh, hey mate, how are ya? Wanna play? One game's 20 rupees. Yep, let's go. The rules to my game are a piece of cake. Shoot for the targets from atop the platform. You gotta hit them all. That's all there is to it. If you don't aim proper with the stick, you, ain't, you won't hit any of them. <laughs> Are you ready, mate? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, that one was failed. And again, anyone actually surprised by this Trinity events? Okay. So this mini game is kind of challenging, cause oh right, the Wolfos. There we go. So you kind of want to get everything in the time, in like a good time. That's the thing with this mini game. Uh, there's two prizes. You're gonna have to beat the game. You're gonna have to play the mini game twice, regardless of whatever you do. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, this is a lot easier in Majora 3D, for my opinion, because in Majora 3D, uh, you have uh, gyroscope aiming, which is actually pretty darn responsive. Where? Oh God. God, where are you? Okay. There we go. Alright. Oh my god. Okay, open up. Open your heart and you will say... Darn it. What? I hit you! Oh, I'm boned. Okay, you almost had it, mate. Well, just once, here you go. Okay, so he's gonna let me do it again. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it faster than that. Okay. Oh, analog stick. Why? Okay, why? Right, okay. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Let's go.
There we go. Okay. Come on. Okay, which side? There we go. There we go. You go up. figured out like the timing for placing that okay there we go come on perfect all right so I guess if I do it in like with more than like 10 seconds remaining then it adds those points in i can do this so much faster in 3d because again the gyroscope aiming and the fact that like this analog stick is not the best it's better than the gamecube though this is way hard on the gamecube well that's pretty darn good mate perfect here you go take this mate all right and we got ourselves a large quiver ah tell your friends all about us all right mate uh let's do another one won't you play, mate? Uh, yeah, we'll do again. We'll do it again. Yeah, I can't talk. I keep telling you, if you don't aim proper with the stick, you won't hit him. Are you ready, mate? Yeah, let's do it. Come on. I hate these. Okay. Oh, come on. Alright. Let's kill this last one. Come on. Oh, you. Oh, I forgot about him. <laughs> okay. Alright. Perfect. So let's see. What do we get? Okay. I think I did better? Well, that's pretty darn good, mate. Perfect. Here you go. Take this, mate. And we got ourselves a piece of heart. Alright. Tell your friends all about us. Alright, mate? Yeah. You can do that. Okay, so this is one of two uh, shooting gallery mini games. This is the easier one, though. There's another one in Clock Town, and I don't know if I want to attempt that one right now. I mean, it might be a good idea. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get some of this extra stuff out of the way then, and hopefully this part won't be too long. Again, this mini game, though, this is the second one here. I don't know how much trouble I'm gonna have because this one can punish you a little bit harder um, and we want to make sure we do it right um, again also the other thing that's kind of stressful about like doing recordings of this game is like I gotta make everything I do count guys guys there's like no like redoing the part once I like get that stuff going so it's kind of like uh, I want to double check Make sure everything is still recording. Yes, it is. That is good. We're good. All right. Oh, I left it still running. Oh, right. Well, either way, I did switch channels. All right, let's go. Okay. Hello. <laughs> if you think you can do it, why don't you give it a try, Sonny? One game is 20 rupees. Yeah, let's go. All right, Sonny, the rules are simple. Hit as many red ones as you can within the time limit. 
If you hit a blue one, you lose time, so watch out. You can use as many arrows as you like. Press B to shoot them. Okay. Our highest score is 39. If you break the record, you'll win a spectacular prize. Good luck. Okay. So the first part is easier. Uh, oh boy. Alright. It's definitely going to be easier than the GameCube version by any means. Okay. There we go. Alright, just double checking. Okay. Woo! There we go. Come on. Yeah. Okay. So there's certain methods you want to take. <sighs> Almost messed that up. Okay. Alright. This one's one of the trickier ones. No! Oh, this is the... Oh, fudge me. I hate that one. Okay, so that one trips me up. There's like two very similar ones in a row. I hate them. Okay. Okay. Well, look at that. You hit 46. That's a new record. Here you go. Alright, so we need to get perfect for the other thing. You got the largest quiver. Okay, so that wasn't pointless. Uh, we still need to get the lar like the heart piece, though. Alright, so I need to aim for the red ones. Alright, so here's the hard part. We're gonna have to get all of them. Alright, no mess ups. We gotta make this perfect. Okay. So... Let's go. Yep. Right. Okay. Alright. I'm just <laughs> trying to do this. Okay. So again, you have a time limit to hit them all before they disappear. Alright, so this one is... Okay. No! No! Oh god, it's ruined. There's no recovering from it now. Fudge this! Okay. So, fudge! Oh, well, I'm boned. Yeah. You have 45 DDO, that's too bad. It's closing time. For real? Oh, okay. All right. That's cool. Thank you. All right. Well, I think I'm going to skip to the third day then. Because that's when I need to do some of this other stuff. Um, okay. Cool. Thank you, game. I appreciate that. All right. Let's go to the third day. Man. Ooh, the lag there. Alright, dawn of the final day. 24 hours remain. Alright. So, that. Um, let's actually go over and uh, buy something really quick before we head over to our destination. Um, so, yeah, let's get to the banker. Um, we're going to pull out... I'm going to say 200 and... Okay, how much do we have in here? 505, okay. So we can pull out 200 pretty easily. Alright. Oh, it wants me to pull out like a specific number. Okay, so... Uh, 4 and 2... Yeah. Oh! Don't put deposit rupees. Okay, we wanna withdraw. My bad. Okay. Right. 
Oh, you're taking all that. You spent all that. Blah blah. Okay, 381. Cool. Let's go. All right. So we have 200. Let's go to the bomb shop. And uh, we'll be able to buy something because we helped the old lady. Welcome. Okay. Alright, so it should be the big bomb baggie. Yes. Okay. There we go. So because we helped the old lady, uh, they now have big bomb bags. Thank you very much. Okay. So now we have bombs, which is going to be very helpful. Um, and... I also have money for other purposes. Again, I think uh, I'll be able to um, buy... I don't know, there's a few things in our destination that I'll definitely be able to do. Oh yeah, I can get a map. But I don't need this much money for a map. Um, but, yeah. Either way, so we're actually going to head right over by uh, where like that bird over there is. You want to be really careful about that, though. Um, so, let's go. Okay. <laughs> I need to have better commentary than just singing. That, that's something like I default to, because I like these tunes. They're nice. Um, but, yeah. Gosh, I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed at that stupid friggin' minigame, though. Well, either way. So this is uh, Milk Road. Um, and basically, this leads to uh, Romani Ranch, which is going to be a place we're going to want to remember for later. Um, but we're coming here for now, at least. So, hey, Tingle. How's it going? So I'm going to buy a map of this place from you. Oh, sir. Hello, Mr. Fairy. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Uh, Romani Ranch, yes. Yippee! Okay. And you got a map of Romani, Ra Romani Ranch. Now you can find your way around the farm. Yeah. Okay, so. We'll call again. Tingle, tingle, kula limpa. Alright, well, let's go. Oh, that earthquake, though. Yeah. Hello. Open the way. Oh yeah, so uh, basically, I didn't show off before, uh, but you can only enter this place on the third day because there's a boulder blocking the way. Um, so, yeah. Hello. Romani Ranch. Okay. But yeah, you can only enter this place on the third day because there was a boulder blocking the path. So, yeah. Um, let's go over here real quick, though. Chop some of these. Okay. But yeah, this is uh, one of the more open uh, areas in the game. Uh, just as it's a ranch, so it kind of makes sense. Um, we're going to go right over here, though. And, uh, yeah. So if you guys recognize the this uh, tune and everything, like this is very uh, uh, Lawn Lawn Ranch from Ocarina a little bit. But, yeah. The look! Huh? What you talking about, Tattle? Hey, isn't that your horse? Yeah. Hey, Pona! What's up? You know, fun fact, when I was a kid, this wasn't actually like, oh my gosh, moment. And then I was so upset. Because you can't do anything with her. She's kind of here. Uh, and, yeah, they won't let you use her. Plus, also, uh, hello. I'm just gonna... Hello, how are you? Um. Ooh. Huh? You... Who... Who are you again? Romani, the ranch girl, was added to your notebook. Uh, okay. Well, that was kind of dark. But, alright, let's go in here. Actually, uh, I don't think anyone's in here. Um, let's actually go over here. No, okay. That's alright. Alright. <coughs> So, right over here is the barn, and, uh, hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Right now, I'm thinking a little. My sister, my sister, she, she, what shall we do? Our precious cows. If I thought it would come to this, then what Romani said, I should have. Oh, man. Crimea, the ranch owner, was added to your notebook. Okay, well, let's go. That took a turn. Well, either way, let's uh, go over here. 
and uh, yeah. So, there's a few things we can do right now. One thing I don't think we should do right now, um, but it's there. Um, there's like a dog races, uh, th dog race thing right there. Um, over here though, is the uh, Kaku, uh, Kaku thing. I, I don't know what this is actually called as an attraction. Maybe there's a sign outside. I wasn't actually paying attention to that. Um, no, is there no sign outside of this one? Okay, well, it's just the Kaku room. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's go and talk to the guy over here. You guys may remember him from Ocarina of Time. He was Mr. McCreepface. Uh, hello. I heard it from my gramps. Says the moon's gonna fall. With something that big, it's sure to take this ranch down with it. <sighs> oh, well. Hmm? My only regret is that I don't get to see these roost these guys in their prime as roosters. The Kaku loving grog was added to your notebook. All right, well, we might be able to help out with that. So let's equip the good old Bremen mask and uh, yeah. All right, roosters, get in formation. Get in formation, roosters. It's time for you guys to grow up. All right. You may be hatchlings now, but you guys will be full-grown roosters by the time I'm done with you. That's right, cuckoos. Now get over here. Yes. Yes. So let's continue over there. Now there's a tiny one right over there. Um, <laughs> with these really tiny pixelated graphics, some of these can be very hard to notice. But it's alright. When you're a man, you look past the graphics. And that is what I will make out of you guys. Be a man. You must be strong like a coursing river. I'm trying to make man jokes because I, I'm turning these cuckoos into full-grown cuckoo adult things. Uh, yes, um, this is also a nice tune. I'm going to continue talking like this because I, I feel like doing it. It's totally not a Markiplier impression in any way, shape, or form. But in any way, let's continue onward. So, what? I did not mean to do that. Okay, okay, okay. Well, well, they scattered. They fudging scattered. I'm sorry. I, okay. The most difficult thing about this is you kind of have to hold down on the button the whole time you're doing this. And it can be kind of killer. Um, so it's like, eh. I accidentally hit the shield button. I did not mean to do that at all. Okay. Well, there went that whole bit. Um... Yes, when you're a man, you don't use shields. You just go around and do this. Now, I may have just used a shield, but you see, um, it was a reflex. <laughs> okay, um, let's go over here and uh, get this cock. <laughs> what in the world? Um, so, yeah, um, this is a thing. This is definitely a thing. It's one of the stranger masks again. Like I said, this is like the one time you're ever gonna use this mask, and it's to herd chickens. Now, one thing I didn't point, I didn't realize uh, as I was going back over editing is I noticed that uh, this mask actually was setting off the dog in Clock Town, so like the dog actually would have followed me, assuming I had done it there. Now, this means you've gotten all of them if they start turn turning into regular cuckoos. Yes, yes, there you go. Way to go, men! Hut two, hut two, one, two, three, four! Alright. Hope well, that wasn't obnoxious. I really don't get it, but just seeing these guys with the crest and all, I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this from me. Okay, and you got the bunny hood. My what long ears it has. Will the power of the wild spring forth? <laughs> yeah, these guys are all roosters. <laughs> All right, and you fulfilled the wishes of youth. This is at your notebook. All right, so let's go over here and uh, yeah, get ourselves a bunny head. So this is one of the most useful masks in the game on some level. It makes you move like three times as fast, or is it two times? I don't know. You notice it. You definitely notice it. And getting like in between small points is so nice with this mask. So either way, though, we're gonna warp back to Clock Town. Yeah. So there's really nothing else we can do here right now. Um, we're gonna have to remember this place for uh, later. 
Uh, for now, though, we're gonna go back to Clock Town. We're gonna do that darn archery minigame, and I'm gonna do it right. I may end up jump cutting, though, at some point. If, with there, if there's, like, enough bad attempts. Uh, I will definitely jump cut it. But this is gonna be the last thing we do, and then we're ending off. So, yeah. Um, there's a few other things I guess I could have done, like, the cycle, but you know what? I think we're good with this. Alright? So, let's go over here. Because I want to, like, already perma-save at this point, because I've done a lot. And the more things you tack on, the more likelihood there is of, no joke, these, uh, Nintendo 64 crashing. So, yeah. Um, if you don't, still don't have time, why don't you try it, Sonny? Now, it's usually only if you go crazy and try to do, like, everything in one cycle. And I have tried to do that before. Uh, so, most of the time, it's, it's pretty darn stable, but, yeah. Anyway. Alright, so let's do this again. Alright, guys, so... In the event of there being like a bajillion tries, I will see you guys in a moment. Shot up Earthquake, no one cares. No! Yes! Okay. 
No! 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 Fudge! Yes! 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 Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, guys! 59 minutes worth of recording! I don't- Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh, finally! Okay. Huh? No way! That was perfect! Well, here you go. Alright, we got a piece of heart, guys! Mm -hmm. This may be our last day of business, and he shot pretty well. Yep. And right as it turns to the final day, or the night of the final day, let that happen. Give it to me. Give it to me. Ah, my hand hurts so much. Ah. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this part of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I'm going to pull out my ocarina now. And we're going to go back in time. And then we're gonna end off, guys. So, yeah. Da, 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 da. There we go. It's all good. My hand hurts a lot. Matches a little. It hurts a lot. It's okay. We're going back in time. We gotta go back in time. We gotta go back in time. Ow. <laughs> Okay, well, I think this is definitely enough for a part, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. There is going to be a lot of cutting and or speeding up. Uh, Don, the first day, 72 hours remain. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you all have a very nice day. The quickest way to the mountains is through the north gate. Gotcha. See you guys next time. All right. Mm, bye. I just wasted 150 rupees. Fudge!